Retakes are extremely important in the world of Counter-Strike and today I'm going to teach you from my professional experience how to optimize your retakes and I'm going to give you a little bit of a guide on what you should be doing in retakes, our goals during the retakes and how to win more of them so that we stop losing easy rounds and we can secure more victories in our path to pro. So before we get into that, I do have a message from the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are one of the greatest and easiest to use CS2 trading sites out there. You can swap out the skins you do not like for brand new ones that are so much more fresh. Even skins that are trade lock can be secured by adding them to your backpack. The greatest thing about the site is that you can buy skins for so much cheaper with a 35% deposit bonus when you use my code, Kojo. Make sure to check out the freebie section where you can get a free skin just by completing tasks. On top of the bonuses, you also get a $5 bonus when clicking the link in the description. All right, so first let's go ahead and talk about the T side of retakes, right? On T side, I want you to understand that this is most commonly called post plants, right? And I'll give a brief summary of what we're trying to do here. On T side post plants, we are trying to plant the bomb for an area of the map that we are going to be able to defend it from, right? We are essentially turning into the defenders as soon as that bomb goes down and it's up to the CTs to defuse it. And you know, obviously while you're defusing the bomb, you're completely unable to shoot. So having that T side post plant gives us such an advantage because of all of these things, right? So take Mirage for an example here. If we are planting for, you know, say here, it's great because now we can defend the bomb from a ramp, even outside of palace. It's very good because we can just swing out here. And then obviously it's planned for mid where we can defend from very good versus a spot like this. You know, we plant safe, right? We're planning safe, but it only allows us to defend from CT and palace in sight, right? So depending on what our goals are for the retake, how safe it is to plant, this is going to determine where we wanna plant the bomb, right? So, you know, we could get into a lot of stuff like that, but at the end of the day, just understand that where we're trying to control is where we should be planting the bomb, where we came from, we always know it's safe, right? So if we're coming out of palace, we know that palace is clear and nobody's gonna shoot us while we plant. So planting default is great. If we're coming out of ramp, we know ramp is clear. Maybe we have teammates coming up jungle and stuff. So planting side is safe. Planting, you know, opposite triple is safe. Whatever we're doing though in these retakes, we need to understand if we have a man advantage or disadvantage situation. If you are in a post plant as a T side and say it's five versus three, you have a two man advantage you should be doing everything you can to minimize the risks that you are taking, right? So if we are in the advantageous position, we don't want to give the CTs more fights so that it could even up the playing field, making their retake so much easier, right? From the CT side perspective, if you're in a 3v5 retake, one, you should probably just be saving. That is a save 90% of the time. But if you are going for it, the only way you're really going to be able to get back into it is if the T side gives it to you, right? Because say as a T side, you're playing it properly. If you are in a 5v3 retake, you could have a guy hiding firebox, you know, a guy sitting Tetris, a guy in palace, a guy sandwich. And when, as soon as the CTs run in or do something, you instantly have the ability to have the man advantage situation and crossfire set up, making it impossible for them to win, right? Now, let's go ahead and look at the CT side perspective of retakes. I think that this is something that players don't do right most of the time, especially in pugs and matchmaking. And one thing I want you to understand is utility, right? A lot of times, say on A site Mirage here, the T site will do their exec, right? They smoke off everything, right? They're using all their utility, all their mollies, right? They're throwing everything and say we're playing out of sight and we're just giving it to them, right? We're letting them plant the bomb. That's fine. We can spam it. One thing I see players doing wrong is they're throwing so much utility before the retake is even in, right? They're just throwing uh, random flashes over with nobody actually using them. They're just chunking HEs somewhere, right? It's not horrible, right? But instead of trying to just throw that random flash just to create fake pressure, how about we save that flash so that when four of our teammates are gonna be scaling in, we can actually flash them off, right? Or say we know they planted default, why don't we smoke palace off on the retake instead of trying to throw a little lurk smoke to make them scared or something and use our utility in this way so many times in retakes i get so frustrated because i see this utility not being used when it could be right it doesn't even have to be good utility it just has to pressure them right just throw a random a ramp smoke right like something like that and boom now these guys have to run through a smoke when it's being diffused right so that's like one of the biggest things I see people doing wrong is not understanding the utility that they have and how important and valuable it is, right? One molly can win you the whole round, right? One molly 
throw out firebox you know we were posted boom right there that kill wins us the round because one we killed the guy here and now we know nobody is firebox nobody's firebox nobody's default nobody's here we're just using utility to clear angles and make the bomb site even smaller right you know some of my hardest rounds on t side was actually when the cts just gave the whole site completely and played a 5v5 retake why because we we threw all of our utility right St uh, ct jungle stairs and the cts are sitting back with so many mollies so many he's so you know you're sitting firebox and all of a sudden three he's are raining down on you from jungle side because they coordinated something like that right this is why when i'm playing in league matches and in professional events and stuff just having the site is not good enough right it's not good enough and that's obviously like where you'll see t's like flashing through ct to get this space because you constantly need to have this space if it's a man even situation or if you're down a man on t site i'm going all over the place here but i think it's still good info on t site if you are in a man disadvantage situation you have to take space you have to if you sit and cower in corners in like a 3v5 disadvantage situation as the t side it, it's only a matter of time before you just get destroyed because they just have the numbers right um but yeah like on t side you should always be having these crossfires and then on ct side you should always be like doing everything you can to break these crossfires so essentially like that's gonna be flashing over right what does that flash do it lands right here breaking you know a crossfire maybe from a guy firebox and a guy sandwich right essentially every piece of utility you're trying to do is trying to break these crossfires and in a way when you're on ct side you're literally just becoming the t's for a second now another pet peeve i have about ct side retakes is stop running in before the retake has even started there's so many times where this player here on a is like sitting here they're taking sight and everything it's a 5v5 his teammates are rotating through market to come help him but instead you know what he does he just peeks here for no reason and literally takes like a 1v3 fight or like tries to push his uh advantage when there's no need to and don't get me wrong i already see the comments typing back kojo we need to be able to you know stop the planner sometimes or we need to be able to you know kill somebody that's not ready i understand that i get that there's a time and place to do these kind of things but 90 percent of the time we are playing it wrong because we are just running in for no reason trying to take on the whole team while we have teammates backing us up that are trying to rotate in but you just ran in and died i know this is a problem because i see it in every single matchmaking game every single face it game and i see it in so many pro games and matches when players just still fall for the lack of discipline that they should be having so it's it's a very important thing to learn and if you do you'll get so much better at it but yeah i mean in general this has been a little guide a little bouncing all over the place just a little theory crafting of retakes i hope you guys found it helpful i'm sorry if it's a little bit disorganized but it's just a lot of info that you need to know and you have to be able to understand if you want to play this game at a high level it's not the hardest thing to understand but actually putting it into play and practicing it can be very difficult so thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel check out all my other socials i appreciate every single one of you let's keep grinding and make this year great see you later peace out